Hello everybody, welcome back to Sports Slime Rancher. I apologize this episode is late. It took me a little bit to get prepared for this episode and I was up on Twitter for a good portion of this morning. So let's go ahead, let's head out and what I want to do today from what you guys are probably wondering is I want to go somewhere. I can't figure out how to bring up the map inside the game. I press the M key to see if I can bring it up. I'm not having any luck with that there, but I want to avoid all of these guys here for the time being. Hi there, happy slimes. But we're, we're, where we are headed, guys, where we are headed is we are headed out to a very, very strange <laughs> and mysterious place. Um, I think this is the way, unless it takes me someplace else. Let's hop through here. Um, I think this takes me through. We're gonna have to just kind of maneuver around all of this stuff right now for the time being and hopefully not get hurt too much. Stop running, stop running, thank you. There we go. So this is a gateway that we opened before. This one comes out here into the quarry. Now the quarry to me, it has some secrets and I think there is a way through the quarry um, we got to find a Largo slime out here, okay? I'm thinking there is a Largo slime out here. We just have to find it. That's the problem. Now, this area, it spawns these big, strange creatures. And, well, not strange. These guys, they love to eat each other like crazy. They eat all their stuff and things, and they keep going turning into the big crazy monster. I want to try to avoid that as much as possible because, you know, slimes, they love to do their things. Us, we're trying to avoid them and do our stuff with them. We just want to find a Largo slime. So let's get moving and let's see if we can find one. So I'm going to ignore that little plate thing that we have right there. Ooh, there's a treasure pod. Can we open this? We can open it. Let's get off. Minty Grass Patch. Blueprint acquired. Though this grass does indeed have a pleasant minty aroma, the taste is quite bitter. Wait, so we just unlocked this grass right here. Okay. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but is there anything else inside of here? Like a Largo Slimer? Okay. What do we have in here? All right, well, free money, of course. We could always take the free money because I spent all of my money on getting some free upgrades and stuff. Which way did we come to get it? I want to make sure that we're going in a new direction and not somewhere different. Let's go ahead and make sure we're going in a different way. Okay, so this is definitely new. This right here is where we were getting these guys. Don't think so. Rad slime. This is where I get the rad slimes at. I wasn't paying any attention to this before. This is where I was told that you could get the rad slimes in that at. Is you get them in the quarry, okay? So these guys, they initially come out here in the quarry. And there's a, uh, oh my gosh, really? Blue column corals. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, really? Come on. We can go without the radiation. We just want the money. Can you please move. I want the money. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm in the mood for finding a uh, new type of slime out here. If I can avoid getting hit by all of these guys. Let's climb, let's climb, let's climb, let's climb. Let's climb. <laughs> Sorry, go eat go eat with your brothers. Um we're going up here. What do we have up here? Just a tree? Nothing? Must be a very bad evil slime down there. The sound of sound. They usually clear out the uh, bad ones. 
but we might have to do this ourselves. I'm hoping not, but we might have to. Oh wow, we might have to. Uh, those are mint mangoes, not what I thought they were. Okay, let's get down here. These guys are getting out of control. These guys are very fast out of control. Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna have to run for it. I was not hoping for this. All right, so either we better run across the pool of water. Here we go. All right, we got a pool of water. Can we go clear out the rest of these bad guys? Uh, that went bad from sitting in my inventory. Okay. Huh. Well, we can't go swimming in this stuff. But we can go across it. Hee hee hee. Oh, yes! A new one! I used to soak here when I needed a good soak. It's a great way to get clear of your head. Sometimes I catch a puddle slime blushing. I can never tell if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. Okay. Well, of course, we can't feed these guys, but yes, there are puddle slimes in here. Hi. All right. Um, and they do, they just randomly do their own drops inside of here. What I'm after is up here. What's up through here? <gasps> uh, throw the crystal port out. Come here. Crystal slimes. Crystal slimes. And is that a lava slime? <gasps> Look what they do! Well, I feel like dropping hen hens in here and seeing what happens. I brought these things in here for a whole other reason. Okay, um, I need to clear something else off. We got two rad slimes, that's awesome. So we know where to come to for these guys, but kind of dumping them in here is like a no braino. Um, I don't think we want to do that. We're gonna dump the mangoes instead. So let's just go ahead and shoot these things off. And ouch, please don't hit me. I'm just in this for something else. And oh my goodness, no! Get off of no, that's the chicken. That's a boom swan. Okay. Okay, so officially I can scoop all these things back up now. And scoop all these chickens back up before these guys start creating a uh, mess. Okay, but what is this? This looks cool. This looks cool. I want a screenshot of that. Let me go ahead and scoop up my uh, hen heads and stuff a bit before they start creating a disaster down here. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, what's this? 
I once came upon a time to collect crystals for a little project of mine. Was trapped here for nearly two days when those curious little slime crystals came rolling my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. I thought I was going to kick the bucket. Those shards were here for a wind chime. Were, were for a wind chime. I bet Thor still has it hanging from her porch. Worth it. <laughs> so he came in here to make a wind chime and... <gasps> That's these guys. We're getting these. Hello. Hello. Five crystal slime. Ooh, and more advanced treasure track crackers for that one right there. But we guys also see. What's up here? What's up here? What's up here? What's up here? All right, let's try this one. Let's go out this way. Let's see where this one goes. I think this takes us back out to where we were. That's okay. I can get a couple more of these rad lines right here that way we don't have. Uh, out. Any problems with them? All right, so we got some five and five. We got some mint mangoes. We got some of that. All right, so that's actually a plus. What's over here? Let's have a look. This one leads down. This takes us to that right there, which we already seen. That takes us to the treasure pod. Strangely enough, we don't take damage down here. Huh. Okay, so what is this? A two way entrance? That's what it looks like. It's just a two way entrance. And uh, you guys can see there's one end of the pond, here's the other end of the pond. And we can see what it looks like in the daytime, too. Awesome sauce. Okay. Let's keep moving along here. There's got to be a Gordo slime out here somewhere. There has to be. I thought I was missing something. Ouch! Come here, you, before you start any trouble. He came from up here. Oh, look, you guys. Treasure pod, and there's a crate. <gasps> Bingo! Hi, buddy. How you doing? Will you eat these? No. Okay, we found one. We found one, but we don't exactly have the right stuff for him. Um, I'm going to have to trash all the mangoes, and I'm just going to shoot them out there into the ocean because now I need a vegetable for this guy, and we need a total of 30 of them for him because he's a little piggy. The blue guys, they're piggies, okay? They love their vegetables. This right here, I think, okay, that's a fruit. This right here, this is a fruit. All right, we need a vegetable for you. We're coming back for you, buddy boy. We're coming back. Trust me, we're coming back for you. Let's go look for some veggies, guys. Would you look at that? We got some carrots. Okay, those are heartbeats. Which means I could probably throw these chickens in the ocean, too. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. You know, I can always get more chickens. Wee! Chicken for the win! <laughs> <laughs> Which frees up another inventory spot. I love this. There you go. Flying chickens. Alright, so let's go see what kind of veggies we can get from down here, guys. What kind of veggies can we get? Um, we got... Add onion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Onions? 
We got onions? Oh, we are so gonna grow that. You need to get out of here. You need to get in my inventory. You need to get in my inventory. And these guys can burn. Get out of here before you cause any trouble. All right, let's go. Sure, we can find something. <gasps> Ooh, do you guys see what I see over there? Hmm. But we need vegetables. We need vegetables. And uh, one, two, three, four. All right, I said four. Here's carrots. Okay. We'll see what we gather most of. There's more carrots over here. Okay. That's seven. Hmm. I am going to need food for him, and he, he eats veggies. He's a strictly vegetable person, so we're gonna kinda avoid that right there where that guy just walked in at. And we're just gonna, oh, hello. Uh, we're gonna leave that be. I think what I might do is see if I can run back home. Now that we know where this place is, we have to come down and go through this. We'll see a cracked treasure pod. So we're gonna come down through a cave. You guys see where this is right here? All right, so we're gonna come down through this, come up through this. New blueprint advanced, <gasps> advanced pump. Our pumps are done, our pumps are done. Um, where, can this take me back home? Where does this take me, to be honest? That seems to be a good question. Where did that just take me? Oh, it took me right here. Nice, because we're gonna grow some onions. <laughs> and we can grab some veggies. All right, let's fly through here real fast, guys. Um, we're gonna grow a veggie. These, these, they're doing a dance. <laughs> they're doing a dance, letting us know they're done. Okay, I'm going to do another crop plot, and we're going to turn this one into... Uh, you know what? Cancel that. Since we already have two of these, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, remove the crops. Purchase. And we're going to go ahead and add onion. then pick these things up and now we can grow onions guys now we can grow onions this is going to be in this is going to be nice because now we get onions inside of here it's going to look like we got carrots in there but at the same time it's going to be pretty cool all right so these carrots i do have carrots guys we're going to go scoop those up right now um and we also need to do a couple more corrals to get rid of these guys our rad slimes in that so let's see here let's put our crystal slimes inside of here one two three four five there we go um if i didn't throw all my chickens out i'd feed them these um let's see here i think that's what they eat is uh no they're veggies they're not chickens they're not. They're vegetarians. Here, throw those things over there. Let's go get some carrots, guys. Let's just go get some carrots. Hey, 
There you go. This ought to fill our inventory up nice and good. Let's go up there. We're going to give these guys some carrots. You know, keep them nice and fed while we're gone. And it usually helps if we just do this. There we go. And just stuff them full of carrots. It'll collect all the ports as it goes. While we're gone, we just have to... Uh -oh. I never did clear it. I never did clear this. And it has... What the heck? Rad ports in there. Why does it got rad ports in there? Ah, I don't have a clue. Um, I do want some crystal ports because I got a very, very good idea. You guys see these rad slimes over here? Oh my goodness, guys. I think I got an idea. Um, well, I got to do something first. I got to get these rad ports out of my inventory because I can't pick anything else up. Or the honey ports for that example. All right. Yeah. Let's go fix that. If I can go the right direction. Oi, oi. Yeah, we're going the wrong direction, fellas. New advanced drill. Yes, I see it. Ta -da. There you go. Let's turn these in for some money. We're going to go ahead and turn these rad ports in for some money. And I'm going to throw up another corral over here. All right, we're going to do a corral. Let's go ahead and purchase this. Let's go ahead and max this thing out. Purchase, purchase, um, purchase. Let's do a port collector, an auto feeder. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and just throw one of these things in here for right now. All right, you guys see where that is? All right, so pay attention. Pay close attention because let's see here. Let's see here. Can I just get these out of my inventory for right now so we got space? All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Now, do we have any crystals? Please tell me we got some crystals. Are these guys done? Will you feed them? Oh my gosh, I'm going to feed it myself. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so watch this, guys. Um, we got those rad slimes over there, right? So what we want to do is we want to take these rad slimes that we have inside of this thing, and we want to give these guys a beautiful, I mean, a, a beautiful. Boom, baby, boom. <laughs> this is a... It, now he's a, vet, a rad crystal Largo, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw another one, two, three, and four in there. And these other ones, um, I don't think we're gonna need that many, but just in case, just throw them all in there. And let's just throw some crystal ports in there just to get it up and going. <laughs> Here we go. And all I gotta do is fill this thing up with veggies now. And what say you guys? Just fill it up with some of these, because we're gonna be taking ourselves a whole lot of these rutabagas, or whatever you wanna call these things. Right? We can get a total of 30 of these. Well, not 30, but close, pretty darn close to it from here. Are these things ready? The onions. It looks like it's growing carrots, too. Odd onions. Yeah, you're not kidding about it being an odd onion, right? I want to go back to that cave. 
Let's get on inside of here. We're gonna grab some more of those heart gates. You guys are gonna see those things all the way down here. This is probably gonna fill me up nice and good. Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, let's go get some more of them carrots. We're just gonna leave these guys alone inside of here for now. And let's take a look at this. All right, stop dancing already. Buzz wax. Okay. Buzz wax. Okay, we got some buzz wax. Uh, okay, spiral steams primordial oil. This stuff is made of prehistoric. Okay, we're going to have to go put this away. That's going to be up here. Yeah, we got to go put this stuff away so we can keep collecting. So I got these things. I stuffed them up all over the place. Here's one out here. So here we go. Let's go ahead and stuff these in here. Because I'm not too sure what all this stuff is for, but we'll figure it out here eventually. I know there's this thing called a quantum port. Spit it out, just spit it out. Thanks very much. Uh, we got seven out of that one. Is there any more around here? No. All right. Let's go collect up from the other ones and see what else we got. And then we're going to head back out, guys, and we're going to crack that puppy. I keep looking over at this, hoping it's ready. I want to see what those onions look like. Let's crack this. We got a hexacomb. We got a hexacomb. And some buzz wax and primordial oil, but it looked like something else was bouncing around over here. Not sure what that was. Alright, again, I'm going to have to bounce back and forth with this away. I don't, I'm not sure what all I'm going to get. But the primordial oil seems pretty important to me. So, let's just go ahead and bloop, put our hexacomb in there. Dump all the buzz wax in there and the primordial oil. We're going to figure it out, guys. I want to find out how to make a quantum. When I figure out how to make a quantum one, we're going to go to the glass desert. Come on, get ready. We're waiting on you. And any more of those dancing machines? No more dancing machines? Okay. Well, let's roll. Let's get back out there, guys. What do you say? Um, what's the fastest way back out there? I guess I'm gonna have to go the long way. All right, I'll see you there. All right, guys, we're back out here. It's still dark in the game, but you guys can see all our stuff is still here to be throughout. <laughs> all right, let's roll. Let's do this. Do do. We're gonna go back to our Largo slime. All right. It's gonna be so cool, I'm happy. Follow this. Whoa, that guy grew, grew big, quick. Oh, my meter died out. All right, we gotta let that thing refill. That's not good. That looked like a frog for a moment. Yeah, that looked like a frog. Okay. All right, let's cross. <laughs> right over here, guys. Let's drop down. And here's here we are. Here we are, guys. All right, let's feed them. Now, he should take 30 from the looks of things, but we're gonna crack him. Nope. What did he get us?
Get me back in there. Okay, we got some ornaments. We got two ornaments. We even got, all right, let's just toss these out of here. We got some ornaments. We got some Christmas ornaments, guys. We got Christmas ornaments. Awesome. What does this say? It was here that I once knew I had to leave once again. I had spent the entire day exploring, trying to find my way up to the island. And though I spent the rest of the night walking along the shore of the soft glow of the fire flowers, I caught myself looking up once again. Again and again. Once more, I was looking to the stars. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode out right here. And we're going to pick up on this tomorrow. Catch you later. Bye-bye.